Hi Starlings, Vanessa Montgomery here from Astro All Stars. Let's talk about this full moon in Capricorn. So it was at 11 degrees Capricorn, almost halfway. So wherever that is in your chart, 11 degrees, whichever house 11 degrees Capricorn falls into is where we're expecting Capricorn themes to be illuminated. And then over trying to that is Jupiter in Taurus. So uh, wherever Jupiter is uh, flowing through Taurus in your chart, these two Aries are connecting with luck so that really does change the themes of this lunation however one thing I found myself talking about and thinking about uh, with a friend of mine and you know look at what themes come up over the week and closer to the full moon really uh, impact you or notice you're talking or thinking about or stressing about or cranky about if this moon is square yours like it's square mine I was so cranky last night just Feeling very irritable, the worst side of Aries moon, which I have natally because Capricorn square Aries. So it just depends on all of that. So we've been talking about success. My friend is an artist and, of course, in astrology land for me, and I know a lot of artists as well. So in terms of what are the indicators of success, it's different for every person, again, according to their chart. But there are some, surely, you know, this is ruled by Saturn, Capricorn, success, status, achievement, recognition, these themes. Generally, we see them as indicators of success. However, one thing that's a real positive that I thought about was Saturn gets respect over time if you stick with it, even if you weren't successful by any stretch of the imagination, if 50 years later you're still working on your art practice or your astrology, you know what? You've mastered it. You're probably really good by now and people respect that. You eventually gain respect and possibly status, maybe not. I mean, achievement or recognition doesn't necessarily mean you're good at it <laughs> uh, but and lack of doesn't mean you're bad at it either. But if you keep at it, you're going to be pretty good. Let's face it. You're going to have learned something and gain, gain something from it. So I think of one of the most famous artists, which is Vincent van Gogh, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, was uh, completely unsuccessful in his lifetime as an artist. And it was only once he died, his, his art uh, achieved all of those indicators. So have a think about that for you, especially in that area of life. See where there might be some benefit that have come through, has come through, or where you could reach out. Mine's in the eighth house. So I'm looking for management, reaching out through other people. So enjoy and uh, pick up my books to learn more. Over and out. Stay cosmic. Hey Starling, so we were just talking about success, success indicators, achievement, but what does it take to get there. So let's talk about ideas like, <clears throat> excuse me, determination, determination, grit, endurance, putting in the extra mile, being prepared, showing up and uh, sacrificing sometimes fun. <laughs> You know, these are Capricorn and Saturn themes. And uh, as I mentioned in my uh, moon blog, Capricorn full moon blog for Luna Sparkling, you know, there's so many quotes if you look them up, how many years it took to be an overnight success of working and grinding. And Capricorn, well, Saturn, and therefore associated with Capricorn, Saturn rules time, the limit of time, time's limits. It was the final planet that humans were aware of until reasonably recently so it ruled finality the limits so capricorns ruled by saturn and earth signs all also understand the temporal limitations and time is one of them and of course when we say time what we're also talking about is life so you, if you dedicate time you're dedicating part of your life it's a big deal <laughs> so determination grit ambition achievement uh, professionalism. These are all things that, you know, a lot of people gender Capricorn and particularly Saturn male because, hey, women weren't allowed to work. We were seen as property and we still have a hangover. We, ha we aren't out of the bog of that yet. And uh, a lot of astrologers and people talking about astrology do perpetuate that and it's not helpful. So you've got to be active. You've got to be professional. You've got to be determined. And I'm here to remind you that determination looks good on you. Ambition looks good on you. 
an ambitious, determined woman. It's so inspiring when you see businesswoman, especially from the past. I just watched a Barbie movie, Tiny Tiny Shoulders, it was called. It was a documentary and it had a little bit about the first costumer and, of course, Ruth Handler, who invented Barbie and started Mattel, the company. And, you know, they were independent business women and they were real go-getters. And to me, that's very Capricorn, very Saturn. So I found that quite inspirational. And um, yeah, it's a good reminder to catch yourself. You know, there's so many women or girls that are like, oh, it's not sexy or you have to be sexy or you have to be feminine or like continue to be feminine and ambitious. No, you don't have to be feminine because what does feminine mean? Does it mean pretty, beautiful, passive, not assertive? It actually kind of goes against the grain. So whatever the mix is for you, that's the mix. Maybe try different things. So I do think there's a few mind hacks one has to get around and discard to really achieve. Get rid of the blocks. (laughs) 